Back from Strachan, here's Strachan again! <laughs> have you ever seen a better goal? And have you ever seen one better time? And Gordon Strachan, with his 18th goal of this memorable season at Ellen Road, may well have struck the richest goal of his career. It's quite simply, it's, it's, it's a non-profit organisation that is, is, is to give people a chance to do, to be the best at what they can be. It's very unlikely that we'll make anybody into Premiership footballers. Might be Championship footballers, a push, league footballers. But if they can make a living after we leave here. And Strachan in some space here, chance for Leeds United, and a goal! Leeds United lead and Gordon Strachan answers his critics with a goal. Uh, my name is Dan Elliott, I'm the managing director of Strachan Football Foundation. Um, I oversee the whole of the foundation, I liaise with Heart of England Training, our training provider, and manage the senior staff along with teaching the BTEC Level 3 qualification and delivery and coaching of sessions. Yeah, recruitment, um, we don't go out and scout players, I don't think, we, we, it would be arrogant of us to go out and knock on doors with players, I think we, we just open it up. purpose of that is we don't want to upset any other clubs involved by taking their players away, we just open it up, use our media, social media channels, uh, Facebook, Twitter uh, and then local press to promote the trial days and we have six trial days throughout the year, two in October, two in February and two in April, where the lads who want to be part of Strachan Football Foundation come in uh, and experience real life within Strachan. It's no different, the two days that they attend over them, three separate occasions are no different to uh, what everyday life is within the foundation. So they're getting a real life experience of, of what to expect when they come in full time in July 2017. Biggest achievement while being at the academy, obviously we've had two boys enter professional football uh, in the UK, Luke Leahy signed for Falkirk and Jordan Ponticelli is currently the academy top scorer in Cat 2 academies with 20 goals um, and he's signed a two year contract with Coventry City last year. Um, there is other successes and they're, they're the obvious ones when it comes to trying to get guys into professional football, that's, that's the hardest job. Uh, and. It, to get what we've done so far in the last few years is, is a great achievement. I think first and foremost it's attitude because it's not all about playing. Um, if it was all about playing we could have 40 superstar footballers and no one completing qualifications. Mm. So it's a combination of both and first and foremost we look, look at attitude and who the person is uh, and secondly then look at their football ability. I'm Sam Bethel, I'm a third year apprentice at the Strachan Football Foundation. My name's Joe Finlay, um, I'm centre-half and I'm in the first year of the Strachan Football Foundation. I'm currently doing a 90 credit level 3 sports diploma. Max Johnson, third year, number 10. Uh, academically, I learn the first year I was here, I did my BTEC level 3, um, 90 credit, uh, credit diploma. Uh, in the second year I did the BTEC Level 3 Extended Diploma mm -hmm. and now I'm doing, uh, doing my apprenticeship here in the third year um, which I'm going into uh, to schools, uh, uh, learn how to coach, uh, PE lessons and stuff like that which is like part of an MVQ. So. In my first year I did a Level 3 Diploma in Sport and in my second year I did the Extended Diploma, the 90 Credit Diploma and uh, in my third year, which I'm in now, I'm doing an MVQ and going out and assisting in an apprenticeship, like based in a school in the local area, which is quite good. So my first day at the foundation was July the 4th, I believe, last year, 2016. Um, and I really enjoyed myself, to be honest. So don't get me wrong, it was really hard work. We did a lot of pre-season work, which obviously is a big factor, especially with our main coach, George Matthews, who's got his morals and loves loves our hard, to train us hard and uh, run us a bit. But now I'd it's meeting new lads and don't get me wrong like it was hard work but I enjoyed it as well. I really enjoy the grind at the end of the day. Uh, nervy because I didn't know what to expect but everyone was quite welcoming and like, as soon as we settled down the lads and that it was fine. 
Um, the first day was it was different to uh, to school, definitely, um, but in a good way. I think I think um, it's just completely different to the to the way of life with like with like sick form and stuff like that. So it's a different alternative, really. So my trials, um, my trial days back last year, I think it was, and the year before that actually, had one in October um, half term, and then I went for the February half term, and then an April half term, um, and they were wicked to be honest with you. We, uh, it was more of an introduction to be honest than anything. Obviously, we showed them our football ability, showed them what we were about, but then they showed us what we were about as well. Showed us what we'd be learning, everything with our education, introduced us to the staff, and like I say, it was just like a big introduction really to what life would be like if we came here. Uh, it was difficult. Um, obviously, I've been here for about three years now, but I definitely know the standard is up since I've came here. Cause obviously, uh, getting more well known, the standard has definitely gone up with the players coming in. But yeah, it was difficult to get in, but I feel like I did well. Uh, for me, obviously, wasn't didn't enjoy school as much. Mm. But here, you get your equal chance. Wherever you've been good at school against someone that hasn't been. You, clean slate, treat you more personally anyway, so if you've got any queries or anything straight in the office they'll help you out whenever you need it, more hands on. In my opinion I think Strength Football Foundation, for lads like me, who love football and they want to get something out of their football career and maybe something out of the industry, Not let alone be a footballer, maybe you want to be a physio, I mean uh, we've got so many different links to universities in America if you want to get a scholarship or whatever you want out of life, especially in like football for example, I mean I want to be a, a top semi-pro, that's what I realistically want to be and I think that, that this, will, this will get me there in my opinion. So I think it's just brilliant compared to school because of the fact it's a lot more chilled out, the staff are a lot more friendly with you, I think they treat you a bit more like adults in my opinion. I mean I remember at school I could never, I could never handle it when teachers spoke to me a bit like a kid and but when I'm here when I'm with Dan, our founder, he's speaks to me like I'm a full grown adult, which I'd like to think that I'm getting there. Don't get me wrong, I'm not fully there, but I like it a lot more than school. It's a lot more relaxed in the environment, so a lot more, I think you're, you're allowed to do your own thing and get on with it. As long as obviously you're getting work done as well. Probably in my first year winning the, the National Cup, which is the first time I think Strachan FF have done that. And such a big cup as well, beating the hardest teams in it as well and then going to St Andrews and playing really well it was a great day. Mm -hmm. It's got to be in the first year when we won the um, the National Cup. Um, it was a massive achievement not just for me but for the foundation I think so it was, it was great to be part of that. Um, yeah that it's got to be that by far I think yeah.